I'm still hoping that he's alive, but I just don't know at this point. I just, I just feel emptiness um, now that um, he's gone. The Mathis home is full of that empty feeling. There's a picture of each of the seven children on the walls, but right now it's thoughts of 10-year-old Jeffrey that has all the other kids crying themselves to sleep at night. The errand 10-year-old Jeffrey went on was supposed to be a short one. All he was supposed to do is leave the house here and walk a half a block down to Gordon to buy his mother a pack of cigarettes. He was supposed to get them at a service station, but the people there say he never made it. When Jeffrey didn't come home, Mrs. Mathis sent another son to the filling station to look for him. Then they called the missing person squad. For almost two days now, police have been searching. They've checked all the vacant houses near here. They've even called out a helicopter to help search the wooded areas and the railroad right-of-way. They've put up signs with Jeffrey's picture, but so far they have no clues. If you've seen this boy, or if you have any idea of where he may be, call 658-6818 and tell the detectives what you know. A little clue from you could help save a little boy's life. I want him to come back home, whoever got him, or wherever he is, for them to bring him back home or let him out so he can get back home or call or something so he can come home. Gary Reeves, Action News.